Hi, I'm State Representative Drew Stokesbury. I am the ranking Republican on the House Appropriations Committee, and I'm also a member of the House Finance Committee. And earlier today, unfortunately, uh, that House Finance Committee passed several bills that would raise taxes by as much as $4 billion over the next four years. And it's disappointing for a number of reasons. Uh, first, it's simply not necessary. Right now, the state has a $2.8 billion budget surplus, which is the best starting position we've been in since the Great Recession, probably this entire century. And so there's no need to raise more taxes. We can fund a budget that prioritizes all of the services that we want as Washingtonians without raising taxes. So it's disappointing to see taxes being raised for no reason. But it's also disappointing because the taxes that were raised will have devastating consequences for us here in Washington. We passed a capital gains income tax, which I'm afraid will set the door for a full-fledged income tax to pass in the coming years. Uh, I'm afraid that it's unconstitutional in its current form. I'm afraid that it's extremely volatile and will make it very difficult for Washington to budget around because collections will be so unpredictable. Uh, and I'm also afraid that it'll discourage capital investment, which will actually slow down our economy and cost us jobs. We raised the B&O tax on businesses, but not, not all businesses, only certain businesses. And some of the businesses we raised the taxes on uh, are things like architects and builders of affordable housing, uh, doctors in rural areas and pharmacists. And that's gonna cause the cost of prescription drugs and healthcare to rise when we should be figuring out ways to reduce those costs. We uh, even raised taxes on certain grocery stores and that's gonna make groceries and food more unaffordable. And so it's going to have devastating consequences for, for Washingtonians. Uh, another example is that we, we raised the real estate excise tax, which applies when you sell property. And the way we did it was to target that tax towards, towards uh, commercial properties, but also large multifamily properties. And we have, an affordable, we have an affordable housing crisis here in this state. And so why we would raise taxes on multifamily housing, which are predominantly going to be rentals, when we need to be figuring out ways we can reduce rentals is beyond me. So I'm really disappointed by the actions that the House Finance took this morning. Uh, the majority clearly wanted to raise taxes despite them not being necessary uh, and despite a number of troubling consequences of those tax increases. And so now the, that bill will come to the House floor and I hope we can defeat it then, but uh, it, it's hard to say at this point. So stay tuned and we'll keep you updated.